Hey guys and welcome to a video talking about the career mode changes. EA have dropped some big news today at Gamescom regarding Ultimate Team but most importantly career mode as well and they've made some huge improvements to it. I'm going to go through them, I'm going to tell you what I think about them and then I'm going to tell you what I think they should do still uh, on top of that. But we're going to start off with the first change they make and that is pre-season tournaments. They're actually going to make pre-season interesting for, for everyone to play because Usually when you play friendlies in career mode, let's face it, we all skip them. There is no importance to them whatsoever. You get injuries. There is nothing good about them. But now you can actually earn money by playing in pre-season tournaments. That's going to make it worth it because the extra cash can help you build your team. So on and so forth. It's got the advantages. It's interesting. It's good. Now, this wasn't something I necessarily wanted this badly i wasn't really thinking about it but in my opinion that's a really good idea by ea i'm glad that they added it in it's going to make the entire season interesting and not just from the moment you play your first competitive game so that's a good thing the second thing they added is player training and this for me is the biggest thing they've done this is huge this is absolutely massive because i've been wanting to do this for so long since i first saw this on pez where you had player training I wanted this on FIFA and they're finally going to add it in and it's going to make it so much more interesting for you because you finally can have a hand in how your players will develop. You can finally choose who and what you want to improve and that is important because you don't always you don't have control over that in the past few FIFAs and now you will. You can actually decide who your top priority players are that you want to grow into superstars, well maybe not that fast but you know, you can have an influence on their growth and for me that is very important because I've always had players that never grow in my career modes. I'm, I'm talking about Memphis Depay for example, he never grew for me. With this change I could actually improve him, that is fantastic. There's going to be a lot of thought going into that because you can't just, you know, pick your five youngest players or whatever. You have to think about who you want to put in there and who you want to improve. I'm not sure if the rest of the team will not improve if you don't do individual training, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, once the game is released, but for me that is a fantastic thing, you know, it's it's huge for me It's going to change career mode a lot um, to actually have influence on, on players off the pitch rather than on the pitch um, The third thing they added is story of the season. They will compare more stats of, of individual players to to other players of like For example, as you've seen on the screen Hazard versus Aguero, they're going to compare those stats it's an interesting thing, you know, the, not only the graphics, but the commentary will pick up on all those stats. And, and, you know, it's a nice thing they add, but for me, it's not the biggest change. You know, it's there, it's good, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, it will immerse you more into the story of Career Mode, that's what they're saying. But for me, it's 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 not that big, but I'm, I'm fairly happy so far. And the other changes that they made to Career Mode, um, sign free agent outside the transfer window. It's a nice thing to do, you know, it's good. I haven't really used free agents uh, this FIFA for some reason. There weren't really many exciting players to get, so I don't know how they'll do that. Scout reports, um, the reports are going to stay there an entire calendar year. That's good. Transfer budget will be more realistic to where you finish and how the season goes and all that. That's also good. Um, short loans have now been changed to six months and there's an option for a two-year loan. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, friendly subs, you will be able to issue an unlimited number of substitutions during friendly matches. That's also good for that pre-season tournament. Not only are you going to win cash by winning that tournament and by trying to win it, you will also have the opportunity to completely switch your team around and see what plays best and, you know, actually have a feel for who's good and who's not in your team. That's good. Uh, more realistic transfers, thank God, because I'm tired of seeing um, and what are the usual transfers you get. It's always Suarez that ends up going to Bayern Munich and, uh, you know, your usual transfers. I'm not going to name them all because for some reason I can't remember them, but they were there the entire time I started a career mode, your usual transfers. Hopefully that will be changed. More realistic, more versatile as well, so that's good. Uh, and improved player transfer values, so uh, well, another good thing that they add. That is what they've given us so far for news, and that is good. I'm especially excited about the player training and also the preseason tournament. That's good. 
But the other thing I want to see, and they haven't really talked about, is the youth system in FIFA 16. For me, FIFA 15 was a disaster. It honestly was. I, I've never had the chance to see a player develop into a first team player in my Milan career mode. That was disappointing. I'm not sure if they'll change anything about that youth system. I hope they'll bring out more news in the future and address that issue as well. Because for me, it is an issue and it is a problem. The youth system does not work properly. If they can fix that, I'll be fairly happy with what they're doing with career mode so far. Like I said, the preseason tournaments and the player training is going to be absolutely huge. Now I'm more looking forward to um, the youth system news and potentially my player as well. They need to improve a lot in that game mode as well. Hopefully there'll be news on that too. Other than that, I'm going to cut it here because that's the only things that they've talked about. I'm not going to speculate too much. I uh, leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.